Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 9th of November 2023. So yesterday, bullion and black gold break down as loosening financial conditions foil the Fed's plan. Looser and looser is uh, not what the Fed wants. So obviously from uh, um, Powell yesterday when he spoke, obviously he's spooking the market. Uh, stocks chop, yield curve flattens and oil tumbles. Rear view, what does it say? Powell does not comment on monetary policy. Talks on hostage release and humanitarian ceasefires between Israel and Hamas are ongoing, etc., etc. So, yeah, so I don't know what happened there. But uh, obviously, it's uh, spooked the market a bit. Uh, economic news today. Unemployment claims, they're out at one uh, thirty. Then the rest of the news, again, Powell and Lagarde out at 5.30pm uh, and 7pm respectively there. So let's have a look at the markets. But we'll kick off with the uh, implied volatility first because uh, it's made a new low. It's just fallen out, you know, off a cliff, this has. It's uh, quite incredible. So there's obviously something uh, looming to uh, bring uh, prices uh, back down in this market because you can't go down to these levels. 10.99 and expect the market just to keep uh, moving to the upside. I mean, it can do. Uh, but certainly when you get down to these levels that we've seen before, eventually the market uh, does give way and move to the downside. So an interesting number there, 10.99. If the market's up today, that will be down. And then, of course, Friday tomorrow, where they like to move the markets up before the weekend. Who knows? But probably sideways to higher is going to be the uh, course of events just to keep the markets levitating until whatever's coming because that is a huge drop i've never seen a, a, a vertical drop like that uh, in the implied volatility and i've been tracking this since 1994 so a very interesting picture building behind the scenes there let's move on have a look at uh, the dow and wake our way through uh, all of the other markets so in the Dow yesterday, uh, market closing back below the five bar moving average in the daily, still struggling with this 34146 area. It needs to take this out if the market is to move higher. We are over bought, as you can see down the bottom there. Just do that again. And uh, markets crossed over as well, all the stochastics have crossed over. We've got some divergence, uh, not a lot of volume this week, but uh, no surprise there. Uh, we had all of that uh, volume down at the bottom, which I mentioned in every alert about uh, the climatic volume. Move the market up, implied volatility has dropped, so there's something of a correction coming down the line. Uh, up yesterday in the electronic market, uh, moving the DAX higher as well, taking it along for the ride. And then uh, once Powell had spoken, the market down. We're at the DP at the moment, not a work to do to get back to the high of yesterday. And then you've got the low if the market fails to get above the DP there. In the German DAX, uh, market struggling with the resistance uh, to the left there, uh, even though it was an update, also struggling if you uh, look closely with the 50 EMA, trying to get above that at the moment. Uh, needs that uh, to be done if the market is to move higher and in the 30 minute charts yesterday morning we started off fairly quiet and then we just zoomed to the upside with the electronic Dow. This uh, eventually uh, lost momentum as the cash market opened for the Dow. I mean it's engineered to move the futures to the upside just as they use the derivatives to slam the price of silver and gold. They'll use it to lift the stock market, sell the VIX alongside and then uh, offload all of the cash positions that they want to uh, when the cash market opens and then the market will drift lower. It's a, a tried and tested strategy that happens uh, a lot, particularly when you've got the implied volatility so low as well. It's like they're offloading in anticipation of a correction. So overnight, uh, the market sitting at uh, the close, which you can see there, needs to stay above this in order to have a go at uh, yesterday's high and like I say if they want to uh, move the markets to the upside let me just bring this down so I can draw on the chart so yesterday's high needs to uh, be taken out if uh, the market is to uh, sustain any sort of move to the upside there and take out uh, these areas of uh, resistance that we can see to the left. In the S&P 500, quite a cluster of uh, resistance to the left there, above the five bar moving average still. So we could have a go at this today, given that uh, Powell and Lagarde aren't speaking until the markets are closed in the UK and Germany. But certainly a good uh, option for the uh, late part of the trading session for the US markets. 
So yesterday, moving up, then slammed down with Powell's comments above the close in the DP at the moment. So the high is just a stone's throw away there. Bailey spoke yesterday as well. The market wasn't cheered by what he had to say. Uh, price is down, but trying to get back on the overnight market, which you can see there. There's the low. We've also gapped lower as well. I don't know whether there's dissension in the political camps, but uh, the market uh, gapping down for the UK. But yesterday, marching strongly to the upside first 30 minutes following the Dow. And then once we got to uh, Tuesday's high, the market uh, slammed to the downside. So watch uh, this low. It's been retested already and they filled the gap as well. So uh, upside resistance, 50 EMA, DP, psychological level, 200 MA and R1 before you get back to anywhere near yesterday's uh, high there. US dollar. Uh, down on Powell's comments yesterday, but still above the five bar moving average overnight. And as it said in the headline that the metals uh, were hammered once more. Well, what a surprise. So let's have a quick look at those before we finish. So silver once more to the downside is starting to break down. We know where it's going, uh, but it's just taking its time to do that because of a lack of news. Uh, yesterday it was down in the morning. They brought it back at uh, lunchtime, 200 MA down, down. I expect the low to be taken out today in this market. Gold also, you can see that's uh, curled over and uh, is going down as well. And there you can see the evidence of this yesterday continuing to move lower. Also near the low as well. So a bit of positive news for the uh, silver market. So I don't think it's right down on the low, is it? No. So uh, in the gold silver ratio, let's just have a, a look at this. Uh, we can see that uh, we're still sideways, still in a bit of a range there. But uh, I thought that would have been red actually overnight, but it's not. It's green, so gold uh, holding better than silver as it goes through its next down move back to $20 for silver. Okay, that's it uh, for this one. Like I say, no news until lunchtime and then nothing until uh, the UK markets and Germany is closed. And then the markets, uh, the US markets will react to Powell from uh, 7.15, I think it was. So let's just double check that. Uh, it's uh, 7 p.m. Okay, that's it for this one. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.